today we're going on a boat trip. going to the boat there's 29 people the good thing is I'm conquering my fears what kind of idiots gonna go snorkeling when you can't swim oh yeah okay you've got a life jacket but I'm just gonna be bobbing in the water I'm not gonna see any fish the only fish I want to see is on a plate grow themselves naturally on this island and they are the best quality of bamboo we're now on um, bamboo island as you can see it's full of tourists i've never seen so many selfie sticks in one place wow this is where i sit out everybody's gone a snorkeling black people don't do water let alone the sea i'm not doing the sea for me, if I want to look at fish, I go to the supermarket. What's the point of getting in the sea to look at them? So we are now on a PP island, PP Dom, and there's 4,000 people that live here. There's a school, there's a hospital, there's all sorts on this island. It's unbelievable. Let's check this. We're just about to enter a restaurant. You have to take your shoes off and wash your feet and then eat. They face your fears, so I'm standing on a bloody boat. It's a bit high up here, but just check out that view. It's beautiful. <laughs> and it is beautiful just take a look at this the Chinese man wishing he had a cock a big one I can smell, smell sick of weed man smoking weed on the beach just found some local wildlife. And this is a saber tooth tiger. He looks like half monkey, half cat. Because Sweden is so cold, your balls almost shrink up inside of you. They do. Because it's cold. Ask your mate next time. You're in Sweden, ask him, how are your balls? Are they relaxed, nice, hanging nice, or are they stuck up inside you? But here in Thailand, the sun brings your balls out. Check out these two old men. Even look at this dog. These balls are swaying nice in the sun. So why not come to Thailand and find your balls. I swear to God, it's true. Beach stereotypes, check this. This lady and gentleman are the ones that come here every year. They're blacker than black people. Factor 50 means nothing to them. They're using Mazolian cooking oil. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. I came to Thailand to find myself. What the fuck are we doing on the beach? I've got my clothes on. I'm really white. I don't really want to be on the beach. I should be in the jungle looking for monkeys and tigers. That's Mr. Cool from Italy. I can't be asked to put my sweet corn in the bin. 
let's feed the birds, I'm so cool. And then you've got the boys with all the skills, sports boys, do anything to get the chicks, but it's not working. That's what you call Mr. and Mrs. Trainer. They're on holiday and they don't stop training, even in the sun. I think I'm one of them. Have the Japanese tourists. They've got so much clothes on. They're white and flour. And it's baking up. Why? And that's Mr. Stud. Used to be a bit of a dude back in the days, and long hair, loads of muscles, and still thinks he's got it. Peter String fellas. This man used to be fit when he was younger. Still trying to hold it down. Got a bit of a belly. He's wearing the smallest chunks ever. Girls, if you want a piece of my lunchbox, it's ready and available. It's funny how I bet half the people think I'm selling watches on this beach. They're all staring. And on my last day, I'm gonna bang this. I don't want to do it now, just in case I get thrown out, but I want to bang that. What's that? Happy ending? <laughs> Very good. Very good, okay. Welcome, welcome. Where are you from? I'm from England. England, yes. sounds a pound. <laughs> I love it, <laughs>